This is Nick with logosbynick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can curve text with Affinity Photo. Now the way that this works is, in order to curve your text, you're going to need a path to place your text on. And there's various ways you can go about creating that path. Uh, one of the ways you can do that is by manually drawing one with the pen tool, or you can use a shape over here as a path and wrap your text around that. Let me show you how to do both. Let's first grab the pen tool right here. I'm going to click on the canvas to create a point. I'm going to hold shift to bring this line horizontally across the canvas like this, and then click again to create another point, and we have this path right here. Now let's give this path a curve because we want to be able to curve our text. So let's hold a click over the pen tool right here, grab the node tool, and I'm just going to click and drag this line right here and use these nodes to curve this path right here. And the text that we apply to this curve will follow the contour of this curve, effectively curving your text. So let's come over here and grab the text tool. If you notice by default, the text tool's cursor icon is a capital letter A. But if you hover the cursor over the path, it changes to a letter T with a squiggly line underneath it. This indicates that you can click on that path and the text that you type in will be generated on that path. So let's go ahead and click on that path and I'm going to write curve your text. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is, let me zoom out a little bit. Let me select all of my text by pressing control A and I want to make this a little bigger. I'm going to come up here to where the size is and I'm just going to roll up the mouse wheel to make this bigger like that. And from here, you can change all of the other attributes of your text, like the font, the style, so on and so forth. Now, if you notice over here, we have these two triangles. We have a green triangle over here on the left, which represents the starting point of the text. And then we have a little dark red or dark orange or red triangle over here, which represents the end point of the text. Now, if I move this in, it'll move the text to a different side of the path. So what I want to do is I want to take this triangle and put this at the end of the path. And then I want to take this triangle and put this at the beginning of the path. And what I can do now is I can align the text to the center like that, and the text will be centered on that path like that. And if you want, you can select all of it and make this a little bigger so that it sp spreads across the, the, uh, the length of the uh, path there. Now let me, let, me, uh, let me make that a little smaller. If you want to add some spacing between your letters, you can just hold Alt on the keyboard and use your arrow keys. You can press right on the arrow key and that'll add some space between your text or you can hold Alt and press left on your arrow key. I know sometimes you'll have to adjust the spacing between your letters whenever you're working with text on a curve. If you wanna adjust the spacing between individual letters, like right here, if you notice the T and the E are a little too close together, you can just put the cursor between those two letters and do that. So let's hold Alt and use the right arrow key like that. And do the same thing over here. And you can just go through and adjust the spacing between your letters like that. Okay, so that's how that works. Let me grab the Select tool. Let me take this and get rid of that now. Let's go over how you can wrap your text around a circle with Affinity Photo. So to do that, let's come over here to the Shapes tool, hold a click over that, and I'm looking for the Ellipse tool right here. I'm gonna click and drag on the canvas to create an ellipse like that, and then I'm gonna hold Shift so that it locks the proportions and makes a perfectly round circle like that. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab the Text tool, and just like we did before, if you hover your cursor over the edge of the circle or the path, it'll allow you to place text on the path. But when it comes to circles, there's a one minor difference you should pay attention to. If you click on the outside of the circle, it'll place the text on the outside of the circle like that. But if you click on the inside of the circle, it'll place the text on the inside of the circle like that. So this is important to keep in mind if you want to have one line of text wrapping around the top and then another line of text wrapping around the bottom. You'll have to use that accordingly. So let's go ahead and add some text around the outside here. I'm just going to write curve your text just like we did before. Let me select all. Let me make this a little bigger so that it is more fitting to the, uh, the size of the circle there. And I want this to be centered along the top of the circle here. So I'm going to take this green starting point and I'm going to bring this over here to the left side. And I'm going to take this little red end point and bring this over to the right side like that. And it should snap when you do that. And now I'm going to center the text like that. Okay? So that is how you can go about wrapping your text around a circle with Affinity Photo. So if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.